Hi, this is Scott Arnault with this week's security tip. Today we're going to talk about something called spoofing. Spoofing is basically a person, possibly a program, masquerading as someone or something else. It can come in a number of different formats, including email sender spoofing, also known as header forgery. What that means is as you get an email, there's the body text, there's any attachments, there's also the header. That's to, from, and the subject. And the spoofing can disguise both the name of the sender and the email address info. Sometimes poorly put together phishing emails will have a sender that says one thing and the email address says something else. But it is possible to spoof both of them and a, a good phishing email will have both faked. Now the problem with this is even if you expand the header a little bit, open it up, it still won't show it. You need to actually have forensic analysis to uncover. So a lot of your defense here is going to be common sense. If it doesn't look right, it probably isn't. One other major type of spoofing that should be a concern is something called caller ID spoofing. That's when you receive a phone call that comes up on your phone as coming from one place, but it's actually from somewhere else. That's often used with calling scams which originate overseas. Something like uh, Microsoft technical support, which has nothing to do with Microsoft, and they're trying to get into your computer and have you give them control. A bad thing. One other thing that can be used to do is spoof your own number to break into your voicemail. Simple way to prevent that is to make sure you actually use your voicemail retrieval passcode. That'll be prevented. Very simply, common sense is your friend. If it looks weird, probably is and you shouldn't open it up. Thanks so much for your time. Hope this was helpful. And if you have more questions relating to this or other areas of computer security, please come by the securityadvocate.com. Thanks again. Have a great week.